Hey guys and welcome back. I really hope you're all doing okay and really well. This video is going to be a Bratz doll unboxing and review and I have an amazing, amazing doll to show you today. This is the 2009 Spring Break Jade and to be honest, I can't believe those words have left my mouth because this feels so surreal because I've wanted this doll for a long time and now I have her in my collection. I can't quite believe it. So if you guys wanna share this amazing experience with me, then stick around and I will jump into it right about now. Okay, but for real, at this point on my channel, I don't even need to tell you where I bought her from because we all know it was eBay. And I paid £30 for her, which was a little bit steep, but I kind of wanted her that bad that I paid it. And um, I believe she is quite rare and I've never saw her on eBay before. I've never saw Yasmin or Sasha either. Of course, I have two spring break Chloe's. But um, yeah, I thought this is an opportunity that I might miss out on. Which girl, I was not about to let happen, so I bought her and she took over a week to come and I was like are you real I paid 30 pounds for this doll and it is taking you over a week to ship her to me that is not okay basically I paid around what was it let me think about this now I paid about 25 pound for her and then I paid five pounds postage or like four pounds 95 call it a fiver and you took like over a week to come are you all right like I am not okay with that. The seller I bought her from, I have dealt with in the past. I bought my Neon Pop Divas, Jade and Chloe from her. And um, she was a little bit of a handful to deal with back then. So I know I probably shouldn't have bought from her again, but um, look at the doll, I mean, I had to. And um, I don't know, like, I feel like over a week to ship out a doll that I spent that much money on was a little bit excessive. And let me show you something before we even go on to talking about the packaging. Now, the doll and the photo in the box was in pristine, immaculate condition. Now, I received her and look at the box. Like, it has split open all here, then it is all dinted here, and it, it's a mess. And I'm like, girl, for the money I spent, that is not, that is not right. Okay, so I will give you a quick overview of the packaging. Now, as you can see inside the box, it says two sizzling swimsuits. Now, all I can think about when I read that is two sizzling sausages. And I feel like all I think about is food when I read that, but girl, like, that does sound a little bit like two sizzling sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop, one went bang. I don't think that's the actual song and like, I've just embarrassed myself. But um, yeah, anyway, then it says exclusive beach accessories. Then down here we have the Bratz logo, which is like an ombre going from pink into orange. Then it says spring break and the only girls with a passion for fashion. Then it has been safety tested and it says choking hazards. Then it says ages six and plus. And then we have Jade's artwork, which is absolutely stunning. Like I love it so much. She sat there like, girl, I am living my life. I am serving looks. I am hot. I am everything. I live for it. So I am literally obsessed with that artwork. Then if we turn to the back, we can see the Bratz logo again and it says spring break. Then it also says Jade swimwear is pretty and punk, you know? Pretty and punk, pretty and punk, bang bang, pretty and punk, yeah. Sorry for that singing, but I got in the mood for it. Anyway, so then we have the artwork again, which is like, I can't get enough of it. Like, look at the artwork. It is absolutely stunning. I am obsessed with it. So then we have a crappy little handle and yeah, all the standard, like, you know, this belongs to MGA, all the copyright stuff, you know, keep it legit stuff. And then, um, yeah, now I will do my little speed up unboxing of her and then I will show you her to the camera really close. Okay, so I will give you a close-up look at Jade and as you can see her makeup is very dramatic and I am here for it I love it so much now her smoky eye looks almost black, but it is actually purple So as you can see on her lid, it's kind of like a blacky purple shade Then in her crease is more of a purple color Then she has a really white color on her brow bone and brown thin eyebrows 
then frosty pink lips and brown eyes, then her hair is in plaits with a pink streak going through either side, then she is wearing a pair of dark kind of bluish green sunglasses in her hair on the top of her head, then this is her swimsuit which I adore, this is a black leather with like some chain detailing right here, so much detail, I love it so much. Then this is her black handbag and this is also like a faux fake leather and this has like a pink, you know, stripe going across the top as like a detail. Then I love like the handles on the handbag. Then she comes with a pair of plain feet. Feet? Girl, it's feet. <laughs> she comes with a pair of plain feet. Yes, so this is her plain feet and I love them. Always good to have a pair of you know, plain feet. So this is Jade and I will show you her from the back. This is her. She is everything. Now I will show you what else she comes with, like second outfits and etc, etc, etc. Let's go. Okay, so now I have put Jade in her second outfit and I really like it. So it's kind of like a silver and black two piece. And then it has like a strap going over here, which I really like. So then her second shoes, well, her shoes because she had bare feet and now these are her heels. So these are her heels and they are black and they are kind of like a staple in the Bratz like world. So I like them. Then these are her dangly earrings and I am not gonna lie, one of these did not wanna go in like, it did not want to cooperate with me whatsoever. I was there for ages like, get in, like getting so annoyed, but um, it worked and it was fine. And then taking off her first like swimsuit was an ordeal and a half, like so freaking difficult. I don't know why, but it was. Then she comes with this like blacky purple kind of tutu. I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah. So you can put this over her first outfit or a second outfit, completely your choice. So this also comes with her and this is her second outfit and I think I prefer her first outfit but I really do like this one and I'll put this on another doll maybe. Um, I will definitely put it on another doll. So yeah, now I will show you the tiny little bit she comes with like the little... Yeah, I'll show you now, whatever. <laughs> now I'm going to talk about what she comes with in terms of like little extra accessories. So she came with this like little glass of, you know, maybe a mocktail. I'm assuming that it is an actual, you know, alcohol because she is underage. So I would say a mocktail, but this is a purple color. Then she comes with a bottle of, I think this is sun lotion. Um, so this is in a pink little bottle with a little squeezy thing. Then she came with a big pink surfboard with a love heart and some bones on it. And then this like pattern. And I think this is very appropriate for Jade style. So I really like that. Then I also got this little MGA leaflet of, I think, pure and utter, you know, horse manure, because I don't think I got a poster with her. Um, not that I thought you did, but um, yeah, I just think this is one of those like, fill it in MGA things, yeah. Very exciting. So <laughs> yeah, I think that is everything she comes with. And I could not be more happy with her. She is so pretty and I'm just so happy to have her. So I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review on the 2009 Spring Break Jade. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave me a lovely comment, of course subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell to know when I upload because that is useful to me and to you. So don't forget to click that if you're feeling generous. Also, I wanna say a quick sorry just in case you guys could see a little bit of a difference with me in terms of the way I've been talking or like my mood because I've had a little bit of a difficult day with filming. Not the videos because I love the doll. I love the doll. See what I mean? Like just tripping up silly words like that. Um, I love the doll and I loved filming. But um, today I have tripped up and you know all that stuff over and over and over again. And it does like get you to a point where you're like, I want to quit, stop the video, leave, you know, go and do something else. But I wanted to stay here, do the video regardless. And like I said in the past, sometimes I do suffer with anxiety and stress and low mood. And um, I have fought through it today to get this video done 
and um, I really hope it wasn't like too obvious on camera that I was struggling a little bit. Um, I loved the video, I love filming it, don't get me wrong, of course, I love it, but um, yeah. So, I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so, so much. I love every single one of you. I appreciate every single... Oh my god, you see what I mean guys, I've had a real day of it, so I will see you all in my next video, and I was saying I appreciate you, so yeah, see you next time guys, Mwah. bye!